Hello everybody, mi name is Lussi. I vis you happiness and prosperity. Editor Lussi Vuult liked welcome you for visiting my channel and here is the official news. One house buyers revealed Christian McCaffrey and Olivia Culpo. George Clooney has sold his LA area home for over $14 million to model Olivia Culpo and NFL player Christian McCaffrey. Clooney purchased the six-bedroom property nearly 30 years ago from Stevie Nicks for $2.2 million. His wife, Amal, referred to it as their private oasis in 2018, highlighting its secluded tree-surrounded location. The transaction was facilitated by real estate agents Kurt Rappaport and Kevin Dees, too. 49ers' Jordan Mason gets upset with reporters. After confusion over McCaffrey injury status San Francisco 49ers running back Jordan Mason had a standout game on Monday Night Football, rushing for 147 yards and a touchdown in his first start. After Christian McCaffrey was ruled out due to injury. However, Mason expressed dissatisfaction post-game due to confusion over his comments regarding McCaffrey's injury status. He indicated that he was informed he would be the starter on Friday. Which raised concerns since McCaffrey was only declared inactive shortly before the game. This situation sparked controversy as teams must be transparent about injury reports to uphold the integrity of the sport, especially given the implications for fantasy football and betting. 3. Travis Kelsey Chiefs stand with their leader. Wear shirts in solidarity Travis Kelsey received support from his teammates during a recent game. As they wore black t-shirts featuring his image to show their backing for him amidst online criticism. The shirts were purchased by wide receiver Rashi Rice to honor Kelsey. Who has been a mentor to the team? The shirts were made by Dreamathon, a company the Chiefs have previously used for other player support. Notably, Kelsey's girlfriend, Taylor Swift, was not present at the game. 4. Taylor Swift no sighting in the Big Peach, not at Chiefs v. Falcons in Atlanta Taylor Swift is not currently attending her boyfriend Travis Kelsey's game against the Falcons in Atlanta, leading to speculation that she may be taking a break from watching his games. Typically, she is seen arriving at games and is frequently shown on broadcast celebrating the Chiefs' successes. However, for this game, there have been no sightings of her either in the stadium or on social media. 5. Zach Bryan Let's Squash This Bad Blood Swifties apologizes for Kanye Post Zach Bryan has apologized to Taylor Swift's fans after making comments about her music while drunk posting on X. He compared Kanye West's music to Swift's, which he later regretted, clarifying that he was only discussing music and not endorsing Kanye's views. Ryan acknowledged that he was going through a tough time and projected his issues onto Swift. Admitting his comments were rude and did not reflect the respect he has for her. He praised Swift as a significant force in the music industry. Six. Travis Kelsey's dad trying to start beef, Kanye? Rips his Trav and Taylor lyrics Travis Kelsey's father, Ed Kelsey, has criticized Kanye West for mentioning his son in a new song, suggesting that West's comments are influenced by mental illness. Ed shared an article about Kanye's lyrics referencing Travis and Taylor Swift, calling it mental illness on full display. 
This comes in light of Kanye's ongoing feud with Taylor, despite his admission of having bipolar disorder. 7. Kanye West denies claim Taylor booted him at SB. Despite ex-NFLers claim Kanye West is denying allegations made by former NFL player Brandon Marshall, who claimed on his podcast that Kanye intended to upstage Taylor Swift at the Super Bowl by purchasing seats in front of her suite to photobomb her TV appearances. A representative for Kanye called the rumor completely fabricated and untrue. Marshall stated that Swift managed to thwart Kanye's plan by making some calls to have him removed. 8. Taylor Swift posts vid of parents, Travis, in club after Super Bowl. After the Super Bowl, Taylor Swift celebrated in Las Vegas with Travis Kelsey and the Kansas City Chiefs. And she shared moments from the night on TikTok. In her video, she showcased her parents, Scott and Andrea, who joined her at the festivities. The footage features them enjoying drinks in a private section of Zook at Resorts World, highlighting a rare glimpse into her family time during the celebrations. 9. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey Honeymoon Phase at SB After Parties First-hand account Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were spotted at Super Bowl after parties in Las Vegas. Exuding the excitement of a young couple in love, film producer Nidish Cannon, who attended the celebrations, described their time together, which included a private party at Zook and later at XS. The couple was seen singing Taylor's songs to each other and sharing affectionate moments, appearing to be in the honeymoon phase of their relationship. 10. Logan Paul and Nina Agdahl future WWE superstar has arrived. Logan Paul and Nina Agdahl have welcomed their first child, a daughter named Esme Agdahl Paul. They announced her birth with a heartfelt post featuring photos of the family together shortly after her arrival. The couple had previously revealed their pregnancy in April with a romantic photo and sonogram. Recently, Nina showcased her baby bump in a nude photo shoot taken by Logan. Overall, the new parents are enjoying their time with their baby girl.